I dropped off two friends at LAX when I was traveling home on the 405, and I was just like, oh, like I wonder if the DDEHQ is uh, on the way home. So I typed it in on Google. It said the address, West Central Park Avenue South in Anaheim. Well, uh, definitely not because I am here. And uh, check out my surroundings. Uh, let's go. Uh, let's go a little explore a little bit. <laughs> so it's definitely like an industrial complex compound area. But cool thing, dumping prohibited. But check this out: police impound facility. Didn't even know. Like I knew they existed, but like I'm here. It's right here. But heavily guarded surrounding. Anyway, barbed wire, massive gate. I wonder what's seized behind those gates. Over here, by my car, where I parked completely, almost like in the middle of the road, but <laughs> check out this finding. So right off the bat, old school 944 Porsche, but then Mini Cooper, Mini Cooper, Mini Cooper, Mini Cooper, Mini Cooper, kind of in rough shape. Kind of like a junkyard for Mini Coopers. Um, then you got this sick R53, another Mini Cooper. Oh, look, more Mini Coopers. Oh my gosh, four of them right there. More of them right there. What is this spot? Super cool. Little Mini Cooper heaven. I'll look up that address on uh, line, I guess, but super rad. Then you got a tow yard, tow and mow. They're actually down in Laguna Beach. So I do know that company. Marble and granite. It said the address was right there, that building. If you can see the address, 519 West Central Park Avenue South in Anaheim. Definitely not DDEHQ, but a little find of all finds. Mini Cooper Heaven. Performance and service. I wonder if that is this place? Anyway, super rad. So if you look over by the police station tow yard, um, there's like double decker storage. So I guess they have lifts back there. That's pretty rad. Uh, I kind of want to get in there, but obviously that's not happening. So peek inside, but the gate closes real quick. But uh, just a peek. Ah. Anyway, glimpse inside. Oh boy, rough shape. Rough, rough shape. Forerunner. Oof, it's like leaning sideways. I don't want to interrupt their stuff, but off roading accident, most likely. Getting towed out, but. Ah, oh, second owner, you said. Yeah, I bought it in 2007. I you bought it in 07? And it had 87,000. Ah, oh, dude, and they T boned you. Yeah. Oh, my bad. Poor guy. You said you were 400 miles away from 300,000. Ah, dude. Because I, I, I just got gas. I didn't promote it. Yeah. And I was going to work in Anaheim because I just got gas. And he ran a stop sign, you said. Yeah. That's a bummer, man. These things, they, they last until like something does this, exactly. you know? They don't, uh, they don't break down. I was hoping to take it to my dad. Oh. I was me and my wife always joke, yeah, just bury me in. Yeah, yes. that's so funny. Okay, yeah, that's, oh, uh, poor, like, dude, he got you good, man. Look at this. Yeah, you, you see, he hit right here. Yeah. This is probably from when it went sideways to hit the side. So you flipped. You, like, full on rotated. Yeah. Oh, God. Woo. Oh, he's, like, steering the wheel and such. Oh, that's got to be tough with no power steering. Oh, bummer. It completely rotated around the opposite right. way of direction and flipped. Exactly. Oof. That is, it just, I don't even think it, oh God, no. Ah. Oh. Hopefully it, maybe like strap it, but uh, yeah, that's, that's, okay, unless you're, you know, you, oh, it's, Leaking some sort of. I don't know, maybe just from the rain. Fluid, yeah. But it's like pink of this. Well, super cool guy. Uh, that was his Overland Forerunner. He said he's literally the second owner, and he was super close to eclipsing 300,000 miles on it.
he got t-boned there's some of the footage obviously that you just saw kind of a bummer and i was like oh man like do they have insurance but like who cares because you can't replace what you know that guy had and he's like oh only a car guy would understand that and i was like i feel you man like you can't you know you can't uh, oh god what is happening this guy taking out trash this guy's moving something on loading up and it fell and it just friggin exploded this is a cool little exploration around here again mini cooper graveyard kind of jealous say goodbye to that guy for said safe travels always and safe driving so cool dude oh let's not get hit but bye bye mini cooper graveyard mini cooper lot mini cooper whatever yeah i'm gonna look that up because super rad there's the poor guy that just exploded his table there uh-oh um just casually in the middle of the street probably because this trash guy is getting it but uh this is the area that said dd D D D E H Q. that was the address wait for it wait for it online which 100 percent for all of you out there not the address at least i don't think so because i don't I, again i don't actually know but i highly doubt damon and dave would do face masks required um, anyway not what i think but then you got that over there this over here kind of rad dude like exploring a little bit of anaheim um i was like where am i going where is this leading to there's this doesn't look right but really close to train tracks lots of car stuff as you can tell powder coating grill cocktails got down there a little bit i'll uh peek down that way there you go uh, i thought this was funny gemini only shout out i'm not really into zodiacs but i am a gemini nonetheless so i guess parking for gemini only i'm sure it's a business name i don't think it's actual yeah oh window tinting okay interesting and then you got this really nice like i don't know where i'm at dude i've never been here um park i hear a car or a bike i think that's the ymca oh yeah it's the the y the Y. All right, that makes more sense. So, the Y right there. In hindsight, I thought they said their HQ is in LA area, but could be wrong because they moved from Huntington. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the footage. I don't know, I was just kind of stumbling upon it and videoing what I saw and getting that guy with the 4Runner was super cool. So, uh, you'll see this tomorrow because today, uh, leap year, February 29th, Thursday. Uh, so shout out anyone that's 100, but maybe only 25. Ha, get it? Uh, anyway, we'll see you guys on the next one. And uh, yeah, so uh, happy leap year and March tomorrow. Shout out Formula One Grand Prix Bahrain, Saturday, 7 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. First race of the season of 24 races in the year 2024. Kobe.